Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be creating our own objects in Java's object in JavaScript because we're creating one of them and basically assigning or uh, adding four properties to it. Now, there are two ways of creating objects in JavaScript. Basically, one's using or it's called an object constructor. It uses functions to construct, uh, construct an object. And the other one is called creating a direct instance of an object. Now, in this one, I will be creating a direct instance of an object. And in my next one, I will be creating the object uh, using a function to uh, create an object. And you'll see the difference and which one to use in what situation. Now, uh, let's say, uh, let's say I want to create an object called a punce, uh, person, and I want to give the person a name, or first name, a last name, uh, the age, and a uh, height. Okay. So let's say uh, person equals new object. Okay. So this person is now my object name. It's my new object. And underneath that, let's say person dot uh, first name. The first name. This is the property first name. The property that you'll be creating. Okay. So just like in our syntax before, it said object uh, name dot uh, property name. We'll be we have our new object called a person, and we will be creating a property name to uh object so person dot first name equals uh i don't know john okay and then person dot last name equals john taylor titan john titan i think it was john titan hopefully it was john titan and let's give it an age how old was he i think it was like 24 and person dot a height Let's say I'm going to say in centimeters, so he's about 180. I'm just making him up. Okay. Now uh, that gives you the prop. Uh, what do you call it? The new your new object with some properties. So first name, last name, age, and height. And let's use his uh, names, age, and height to uh, create a new sentence. So let's go down a bit. And let's say uh, var, et, uh, no, um, e, uh, should we create a variable? No, let's just write it directly into a document. Right, it's going to be a bit long. Okay, uh, document. Write uh, person. First name. Let's try that for now. And what that does is it outputs John. So let's use the four properties, first name, last name, age, and height to create a simple sentence. So let's say uh, John Titan is uh, 24 years old. Let's do that. Let's say first person dot first name plus uh, person dot last name. So that gives me uh, John Titan, but I need to actually create uh, space inside because what this does is just stick them together. So I need to create plus space plus person dot last name uh, John Titan plus uh, and space is and space and then plus person dot age plus uh, space plus is no person dot age twenty years old and hopefully this is correct so person dot first name plus space plus person dot last name plus space is plus space is space plus person dot age plus space or years old now let's save it and refresh there we go john titan is 24 years old now at first it might be a bit confusing to add all these spaces but you'll get used to it in no time you just have to add spaces every time between uh, two object properties because by default they don't create any space for you okay now this is uh there's also an alternate alternative way to create a direct instance or new instance of an object or it's basically just an alternative syntax instead of all this what you could do is uh, you can create a person you can just say person equals and inside that what you are going to have is this uh, what is it a curly brackets and you can say first first name and uh, colon and say John 
yeah with double quote double quotes uh comma last name i'm going to make it exactly the same as the one above and uh, last name uh is that colon yep colon and titan comma and age is uh because age is a number we are not going to add any uh quotes to it double quotes to it and let's say height oh. i didn't need quotes over there because it doesn't have it doesn't matter if it's a number let's just change this back to a number and uh height is 180 so this is the quick way of writing your uh what do you call it object and let's delete this and see if this doesn't change because if this doesn't change that means that this one and this one is exactly the same thing because we haven't touched the document dot right so let's save a work and refresh there we go it's still the same so this and this are exactly the same but two alternative uh, ways or syntax ways basically to write your new object so you have person equals new object and you can say person or first name person or last name or you can just say person which is your object name equals and insert your curly brackets you can say first name colon john and so on okay in my next video we are going to be using functions to create your own object